What are you oh. doing? Have you ever wanted to find an amazing, affordable printer that doesn't break your balls? Well, I found it. Kind of. This is the TiVo Michelangelo. And I know it's not easy to try and find the right starter printer for a lot of you. That's got to be the most frequently asked question on 3D printing channels. What's the best 3D printer for your money that doesn't suck? How do I get started with 3D printing? Like, what's the best 3D printer? Will this be the right 3D printer for me? We don't f***ing know, guys. You got to figure it out yourself. And I'm going to help you figure it out. So, by the end of this review video, you'll either love or hate this 3D printer. These are my thoughts and my experience alone, and I'm not getting paid to do the review, but GearBest did let me keep the printer, but instead I thought it'd be way more inspiring to give away the printer to you guys and girls. And I'll tell you how to enter the giveaway later in this video, but for now, let's just talk about me and the beginning of my story. <sighs> Hello fellow 3D printers, that's me right there. J Wall from Print That Thing, where we inspire 3D designers to print. Everything was going great, or so I thought. That was until Amber found me getting freaky and sneaky with my best 3D printer. I'm not alone on this. You guys know how it goes, right? So let's backtrack. A year ago, GearBest sends me this tiny little printer, and I'm like, meh, probably sucks. It's cheap, small, and I wasn't expecting much. A good, affordable 3D printer? I doubt it. And I like to 3D print big. Whatever, let's get this over with. I'm just going to bash the shit out of it on this review and have some fun with it. Then, I turn to the printer, I plug it in, grab a test file, and boom! The printer blows my mind. The printer actually prints really well. So I started throwing little tests at it, you know? Can it print this? Can it print that? Can it print something a little more tricky? Can it print something really small? You know, so I test something really small. Can it print really fast so I crank it up, you know? No problem. So I try something else. I print something, then walk away. You know, usually I wash the first layer. Now, I just leave it. See what it does. Again, no problem. Kind of freaking me out, okay? So I'm thinking, flexibles? I'll throw some exotics at it. This little TiVo, Michelangelo, zipped over this stuff like it was fucking butter. I was amazed. And that's when I realized, I'm falling in love. I start printing with this little printer more than my CR-10. I didn't even know what was happening. For years, I've been lying to myself. Little printers suck. I like to print huge, the bigger the better, right? Small printers can't even print well. You get what you pay for, who huh? you? You know, thoughts like that. And when I figured out that this was all a lie, I was able to break free from my chains and get the printing results I deserved. So it turns out, it wasn't small printers that was the problem. The problem was large, expensive 3D printers and me. My obsession with printing large to compensate for my incredibly small design skills. Once I realized this small printer is amazing, that's when things started to explode. In a good way, and in a bad way. I loved how quick it was, how easy the supports broke away. I loved how I couldn't, I couldn't print large, and it would scale my prototypes down so I could get them out quicker and make changes faster. I loved how it was a perfect cube build dimension, 150 by 150 by 150. I loved the little beep sound it made. It was slowly becoming our love language. Amber and I were also in the process of selling all our stuff and downsizing into this little camper. I thought this printer would be perfect on the road while traveling. I can practically put it in my pocket. And that's when things started to get weird. I was becoming obsessed with this printer. I was hardly eating. I only wanted to hang out with the printer. I wanted to push the printer and the printer wanted to push me. The only problem was, I was spending less and less time with Amber and my kids. I could tell Amber was starting to get a little jealous, but you know, she pretended like nothing was bothering her because she's hard headed like that. She would even bring me food and try to cuddle, but I was already too deep. So that brings us where we started at the beginning of the video. 
I never even saw it getting to this point. It just happened. After long talks with Amber and really, I mean really evaluating my love life, Amber gave me the ultimatum. It's either me or the printer, Jason. (laughs) Thought long and hard. And the solution is to give away the printer. I know it'll be painful, but I must. The TiVo Michelangelo is hands down one of the best starter printers for your buck. I thought it was going to be complete garbage and worthless, but it actually turned out to be a ridiculously awesome printer that almost ruined my love life. This printer makes getting into 3D printing so much easier, almost too easy. I used to spend sleepless hours and sometimes full days trying to get my other 3D printers just to freaking work. And the speedy, out-of-the-box printing fun you'll get with the TiVo Michelangelo is worth every penny. This quality 3D printer prints very reliably so you can focus on the fun stuff, actually 3D printing. But don't just take my word for it. Look at what other people are saying about this little dude. So before you decide that this is the printer for you or that special someone and go buy it, I want to let you know about the giveaway. I'll be giving away this very printer to one lucky person this time next week. Click on my website link in the eye or down below for more details on how to sign up for free. We'll announce this prize winner one week from the day of this video's release, starting now. So let's recap. This little tiny printer should be much more expensive than it is. It prints more reliably than my $2,000 printer I brought a few years ago. You see what I mean? You get this reliable, easy, fun, cute little printer that can beat up an expensive printer for only a few hundred dollars. And it's very, very easy to lug around if you need to. If all this printer did was get you started with 3D printing out of the box without all the tricky, tedious, and annoying tinkering, wouldn't it be worth it? I promise. You're going to love the printer if you're just looking to get started into 3D printing or want something fun and easy to get you going. Also, if you want it in time for Santa Claus, you'll have to buy it like ASAP. The shipping window is closing lower and lower every minute, and the shipping comes from China, so order quick with the link below. So just imagine how beautiful the printer will be in your room, office, under the Christmas tree, while you print your little printing desires. You're going to have a blast with it. So click on the link down below to order your TiVo Michelangelo. And remember, you can also win this printer. Feel free to reach out to me directly from my website if you'd like me to 3D print something for you or if you'd like to hire me to design something for you. Subscribe if you enjoy 3D printing. And remember, keep designing, keep printing. Peace. Peace.